Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Devon. We're gonna be getting into emblems today. So what I'll be doing is showing you how to prep your emblems, how to spray your emblems, and how you finish. What I'll be using today is the Hyper Dip. The Hyper Dip is way better than a regular plastic dip. The Hyper Dip has a stronger bond and it gives you a perfect finish. Like it, it really replicates factory. Like honestly, it replicates factory. So, what more can I say? Let's get started. The only products we'll be using today, pretty simple. We're gonna be using this tape. This is regular 3M tape. You can use pretty much any kind of tape you wanna use, but this is regular Scotch 3M tape. All right, we're gonna also be using regular paper. That's the outline to catch any overspray. And we're gonna be using Hyper Dip. Hyper Dip, they have more colors coming. As of right now, we're gonna use the shadow black. The shadow black is what we're gonna be going with. So that's gonna be our finish. You'll be able to see it all in the end. Here's the rundown of what we're gonna be doing. We got the bow tie in the front. We're gonna paint this gold piece black and we're gonna leave the outside chrome. And if you're wondering how we're gonna do that, don't worry, just stay tuned. We're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna be doing the emblems of the Silverado. We're also going to take it to the back. The Silverado emblems are also on the other side as well. So we got it on the back. And then we got the custom over here. All right. So we're going to go through the steps. So y'all pay close attention. All right. We're going to go ahead and start off by outlining our emblem. We got our tape outlined. I haven't done the size yet. So I got my tape outlined on the bottom right. So what I'm going to do. I'm gonna peel up half of it. I'm not gonna peel it all the way up. I'm gonna peel off half. I'm gonna take my paper. I'm gonna tuck my paper underneath. And then I'm gonna clamp it down with the tape. And I'm just gonna rub it on across and it's gonna hold. I'm gonna do that all the way around so you all will be able to see what it looks like on the finish before I get to um, prepping my product. All right? Go ahead and cover the basics of our setup. The way I do it, I will have four strips of tape going around the outside. I leave enough space in the opening to create an easier peel in the finish. One strip of tape, fold it up, sit your paper underneath that, fold it down, and you have one strip used for each side. You don't wanna do anything extra that's not needed. So you don't need an extra piece of tape just to clamp this down. So you want to save as much as you can, if possible. All right, so I got my outline outside, and then I have my paper to protect any overspray. You don't want to have to clean any overspray that's not necessary. So when you're done, you just want to take the tape off and the paint, I mean the paper, and you want to be done. You don't want to have to go back and clean up anything. All right, once you're prepped, you have everything set on the outside. You're leaving this inside all ready to be sprayed. And that's the reason why I have this extra space outside of the emblem. Because once I start spraying and doing my overlaps, I wanna continue to cover each and every area that's shown. So when it's time to peel, I have enough to peel and it's not gonna interfere with any of the emblems. All right, so that's our setup. We got everything prepped. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Then 
down to my last coat of hyper dip. Now normally with Plasti Dip, I would have went over this six times because that's pretty much the average. With Plasti Dip spray, six coats. But with Hyper Dip, it tends to behave different. So therefore, you would double your coats that you would normally do with Plasti Dip. So this will be my 12th coat. And as I do my last coat, I want to make sure that I peel all of my prep work while wet. That's very important. Peel while wet because if you don't, you're going to try to take this off. It's going to breach together. It's going to bond. And when you're peeling it off, it's going to make it harder for you to clean up the access. So therefore, it's very important. take your time once you got everything cleared this is dry and it's ready to be peeled take your time the most important thing you want to do is peel away from the emblem as you're peeling it peel away from the emblem because if it's breached together it's only gonna peel also together if you peel up or away peel down from the emblem if you at the top peel up from the emblem on the sides, try to peel on the sides in the opposite direction. All right, I'm gonna start off. I'm using the simple toothpick. They have tools for this, they call them spudger tools, but a toothpick will work in this situation. So we wanna start our peel. Once we start our peel, as you see, I'm pulling away. Away from the emblem. If I don't, it's gonna breach together and it's gonna pull away. With your toothpick, you can pretty much guide it. You can guide it off of your emblem. Once you get into the tight spaces like this S, what you want to do is make it easy for yourself. Take the toothpick, peel it away. Simple as that. And once you come around to your letters that pretty much just have four sides, it makes it easy. You have a smooth outline as you go all the way through pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this entire section. And you pretty much take notes from there. Now once you come inside these areas, take your toothpick, just roll it up into the area that's sprayed and you're removing anything carefully. You see how this broke off into it? Take your toothpick, go inside and twist it a little and then put it away. Don't twist it too much because if it's breached, you're gonna twist it dip off of the emblem. Same as you have with this R. Inside the R, 
I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna twist it just a little. And I'm gonna pull up and pull away. Take your time, y'all. Don't want to rush it. You find yourself doing emblems over all because you sped up. Inside the A, two pick, twist it just a little. Pull away. Inside the D. Push it up, twist, pull. Now this is a little difficult. Once you're inside the O, if you're wondering how to get that out, this is what you would do. You would take your toothpick, you would create, just kind of like stretch it through a little bit. Toothpick doesn't damage your paint. It doesn't damage your clear coat. It doesn't damage anything. See how I created that, the base? I created the base to be shown of this vehicle. So I will go inside there, I will twist it, and I will pull carefully as I'm watching it, and you have your opening. That's how you get those clear indents in the middle, by doing it that way. Anything else on the outside, we will clearly wipe with a microfiber towel and it goes away easily. All right, as far as the bow tie, the customer wanted to keep the chrome out. And they wanted the inside of the bow tie, which was gold, to be blacked out. So in order to do so, I used my outline of this bow tie in the inside. That's what I'm using. And I taped off everything around it. So I let it make contact to the chrome. Now to remove it from the chrome, once I remove this, you'll see the chrome and this is gonna remain black. So we create our peel. And you can simply rub down or you can use your toothpick to catch it. So you create your peel, twist it just a little, and you just pull away carefully, watching to make sure it doesn't tear off all at the same. If you see that it's breaking off right there where that break is at, you see the separation area? It's breaking off at the same time with the only separation part. So therefore, I don't have to worry about creating a cut or anything to that nature. You just pretty much have to know the type of vehicle that you're working with because each vehicle is not the same. But if you can benefit from a peel or benefit from whatever job you're doing, you wanna use that to your advantage. Anything you want to do extra, you don't have to do. Just be smart about it. And there you have it. You have your chrome on the outside and you got your bow tie in the middle blacked out. You all set.
right, YouTube, this concludes the video for today. We covered five areas around this vehicle. If you got any additional comments you want to know if you didn't catch it between, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section and I'll respond back. For those who like this video, you know what to do. If you want to be notified about any videos that I post, hit that notification bell. And also right beside it, subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. I thank y'all for checking out this video. If you learned something, pass that information on. Maybe you can help somebody else who wants to be in our position. Thank y'all for checking out the video and taking the time. Hope to see y'all on the next one. Ow!